Ever found yourself pondering over the profound meanings hidden in Genesis chapter 4? It's a tale as old as time, yet it brims with relevance even in the 21st century. The story of two brothers, a tale of jealousy, a lesson in consequences, all packed into one chapter. A chapter that beckons us to delve deeper, to unravel the wisdom woven into this ancient text. So buckle up as we delve into the depths of Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4 sets the stage with the narrative of two brothers, Cain and Abel. Born of Adam and Eve, they were as different as day and night, each with a distinct profession. Cain, the elder, toiled with the soil, cultivating crops and tending to the earth. Abel, on the other hand, shepherded flocks, living a nomadic life under the vast open sky. In time, both brothers brought offerings to God. Cain presented fruits from the soil, a testament of his hard work and patience. Abel, in contrast, offered the firstborn of his flock, the choicest of his lambs, the fat portion symbolizing the best of his yield. This story presents us with two offerings, one of the earth and one of life. It was Abel's offering that found favor with God. This divine preference was not arbitrary. It was Abel's heart, his sincerity, and his willingness to give the best of what he had that resonated with God. Abel's offering was more than a ritual. It was an act of genuine faith and devotion. Cain's offering, however, met a different response. His offering, while earnest, didn't resonate with God in the same way. Perhaps it was because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. A principle that Cain's offering did not adhere to regardless. God's rejection stung Cain, igniting a flame of jealousy and resentment of his younger brother. Thus the stage was set for a tale of two reactions. Abel, humbly receiving God's favor, carried on with his life, possibly unaware of the growing storm within his brother. Cain, however, let his disappointment ferment into a dark rage, a rage that would soon consume him. God, in his infinite wisdom, warned Cain of the danger of his brewing emotions, advising him to master his feelings. Yet Cain chose to disregard this divine counsel, and his unchecked anger led him down a perilous path, and so a series of tragic events unfolds, marking the first recorded act of fratricide. An act of violence never goes unpunished, and Cain soon finds this out. In the aftermath of his brother's murder, a divine sentence is passed down upon Cain. God's punishment is severe, condemning Cain to a life of ceaseless wandering, away from the familiar comfort of his home soil. Yet even in this harsh retribution, we see a glimmer of mercy. God marks Cain not as further punishment, but as protection, ensuring that no one would harm him in his exile. This mark of Cain stands as a poignant symbol, a visible reminder of his deeds and their consequences. The implications of the mark are profound. It serves as a deterrent, a warning to others about the severe consequences of violence. At the same time, it's a token of divine mercy, an emblem that even in our darkest moments, God's protection extends to us. As we delve into the descendants of Cain, we encounter a lineage marked by innovation and progress. Yet this lineage is also tainted by the original sin, a legacy of violence and transgression. Cain's progeny, like their forebear, are known for their deeds, both good and bad. They embody the duality of human nature, the capacity for both creation and destruction. Cain's story is a cautionary tale about the severe consequences of jealousy and violence. It's a stark reminder that our actions echo through generations, shaping not only our own lives, but also those of our descendants. Genesis chapter 4 is much more than an ancient narrative. It's a timeless story that speaks to the human condition. We've journeyed through the tale of two brothers, Cain and Abel, and the heart-wrenching consequences of Cain's actions. The chapter beautifully weaves themes of sacrifice, divine judgment, mercy, and the destructive power of envy. Cain's offering, unlike Abel's, lacked sincerity, showing us the importance of genuine sacrifice and devotion. The divine judgment that followed Cain's heinous act was firm, yet tempered with mercy, a reminder that even in our wrongdoings, divine compassion is ever-present. The tale also starkly portrays the destructive power of envy, leading Cain down a path of irreversible regret, but there's a glimmer of hope. Despite Cain's transgressions, he is marked for protection, a testament to divine mercy. Genesis chapter 4 leaves us with profound lessons on morality, consequences and divine mercy that resonate even today.